In March, people in Kananam staged a protest over the proposed Pacific Marine Industrial Zone. Those interviewed by MTV Point Kaspa, Kamilus Manat and Medang anthropologist Nancy Sullivan have all been issued restraining orders by the National Court, preventing them from protesting against the PMIZ project. Basically, what uh, someone says is, you people shut up, okay? You people shut up. You people don't have any rights. The PMIZ project will be built on land first acquired by the Catholic Church in the 1800s, before it was sold in 1999 to R.D. Tuna and later bought off by the state for 4 million kina. The Trade, Commerce and Industry Department argues that the land on which the PMIZ will be built has a state title. And the state spent millions to buy the land from Adi. So really when you talk about land, who is the landowner? There's no landowner. Government is the landowner. People forget that. Commerce Minister Richard Maru made this statement in an earlier interview last month. Immediate resource owners from Kananam say they weren't part of the agreement between China's Exim Bank and the government, an agreement signed between the Chinese bank and the state. They still recognize land on which the PMIZ will be built on as their own. Lo, uh, gadget declaration notice of uh, acquisition lo, Tesla Vidar plantation. So, lo, so in, lo, proving me lo, and true true and buying this ground of 4 million. The restraining order comes after the group held numerous peaceful canoe protests. Last week, the government department took out a restraining order stopping further protests and meetings. Some parts of the restraining order written in Chinese, a reminder of the investors' interests. Embed displacing people, moving people to a narrow location. We have where people be tumbuna na or papa been brought up long now. Me people not must have long now. Last month, amidst opposition, the SEC clan handed over a petition to the government to stop the project. On the 20th of May, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill responded in a statement saying the government will continue to support the PMIZ project. The project is expected to generate 2 billion kina in annual economic activities and create over 20,000 jobs for Papua New Guineans. O'Neill added that the landmark proposal is before NEC for consideration. It will be jointly owned by the local community, national government and the provincial government. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Medang.